Jeremy Clarkson was at the helm of ITV's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire as one contestant made a mistake that cost her the jackpot. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire infuriated fans at home this evening as a brand new episode hit screens. The much-loved ITV quiz show, hosted by Jeremy Clarkson, saw more players test their wits and general knowledge as they tried to bag the £1 million jackpot. First up was Jackie, who was successful in answering the fastest finger round correctly with the quickest time. But just a few questions in, the player had already used all of her lifelines, much to the dismay of viewers at home. While the controversial move helped her get to the £125,000 point unscathed, it meant that she had to rely on her own knowledge to make it to a million. It was at that point that Jackie decided to use her safety net, meaning that if she got the next questions wrong, she would still have thousands of pounds in her bank. However, on the next question when it came to sports, Jackie was stumped. She was asked about Floyd Mayweather's 2015 boxing fight, but had absolutely no idea what the answer would be. She chose not to take a guess as she said she would accept the money and leave. But fans shunned her and claimed she could have got much further, with some even saying she could have bagged the jackpot, had she not made an expensive mistake by using all of her lifelines so early in the game. Taking to X, Twitter, one user wrote, she could have gone all the way if she used the lifeline smarter hashtag WWTBAM. Another added, and this is why you shouldn't waste your lifelines on easy questions. Hashtag who wants to be a millionaire, while a third penned, Hashtag who wants to be a millionaire that was a waste of a lifeline. Someone else said, three lifelines wasted hashtag WWTBAM. One more added, well that was a very expensive lesson hashtag who wants to be a millionaire. While some tactics are disliked by fans at home, the ITV show goes to great measures to prevent any cheating on the show, following Charles Ingram coughing his way to £1 million in 2001. He became one of the first and only people to win the maximum prize. The first UK winner was Judith Keppel, a contestant who scooped up the £1 million prize in 2000. However, it was later revealed that he had carried out a conniving scheme to bag the cash, with the help from his wife and a friend in the audience. Fast forward 25 years and the producers now have tight measures in place to stop contestants from following in Charles's footsteps and cheating especially when using the lifeline phone a friend. According to broadcast, a small team was put in place to oversee and deploy fully briefed security officers to each person's home to ensure fair play. The need for this added a new financial and logistical aspect to the budget.